Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a wonderful day at the always beautiful Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm going to review a, an interesting case. I guess I should call it healing uh, an ancient wound. Um, one afternoon a new patient came to see me and he said, Hey mate, <clears throat> he says, I need one of those treatments you do. He says, my friend Bob says you're a miracle worker and I got this back pain mate. And I said, interrupted him and said, you know, I don't treat backs. I'm a foot doctor. He said, well, my friend Bob said you fixed his back, mate. Oh, that's right. He had a foot problem and you took care of his foot. And in the process, you must have fixed his back too. He says, I got pain in my foot right here. And he points to his instep of his left foot. And I said, okay, lay down on the table. <laughs> so um, I said, who's Bob? He says, don't remember his last name, mate, but he brought me here. He's out in the waiting room. You ought to go say hi. So um, I went out and looked out in the waiting room, and I saw him sitting there. And I recognized him, and I remembered his, his story. And he was 16 at the time. He was hit by a car on his motorcycle and shattered his ankle. And he had had multiple surgeries and physical therapy and rehab. And when he was about 19, they said, son, what you see is what you got. And he was stuck with a club foot and traumatic arthritis of the ankle. So I uh, went out and I said, hey... Rob, I said, you never came back for your third treatment because I'd given him two Bowen sessions. Uh, after the second one, he said he didn't feel much change. And he told me, well, I didn't come back for the third session because I didn't think it worked. He said, but a month later, I woke up about midnight and it felt like ants crawling around in my ankle and itched like crazy. And I uh, was stayed awake for about an, an hour or two and then dozed off back to sleep. He said, I got up in the morning and uh, it was a little less stiff and some of the pain was gone he said then about a month later about midnight one o'clock it started to itch again like ants crawling around down in my in my ankle and he said i woke up in the morning and felt even better yet he said this went on for 14 months month after month after month and he says now my ankle's all better and i quizzed him about supplements or acupuncture or changing his diet or any other things that he may have done and he said oh no he says it was the therapy that you did i know that for sure so he came back to me about two years later for a tune-up. And he said, remember that day in the waiting room I told you I was all better? And I said, yeah. He said, well, I wasn't. I was only about 90, 95%. So it took another 18 months for all that pain and stiffness to work its way out. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. 18 months couple of years since I last touched him and he still is unwinding. It's kind of like when the orthodontist removes the braces, braces from your teeth, the uh, teeth want to get crooked again, don't they? So you have to wear a retainer for a year or two so that they don't uh, remodel and go back to their old crooked state. Uh, this is explainable in my one of my missing chapters from the Western Repair Manual uh, on direct currents, actually called microcurrents, which are instrumental in the healing uh, mechanism and my friend Rob he must have been stuck <laughs> and his electrical switches needed to be turned back on which is what I precisely did so I want to thank you for watching this video and letting me be part of your day and be sure to visit my website wwwbowen for the number four life.com and get some more information and uh, you have a great day thanks <clears throat>